Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here, and today I'm starting a brand new series that has been requested heaps lately, uh, which is a Let's Build series. Basically, uh, these are when I build something over the course of several parts um, to get to the end part in real time, as opposed to doing a speed build. And don't worry, whilst we're doing this, I'll keep releasing speed builds as well, but this is something that a lot of you guys enjoy and miss, because I haven't done one of these for so long. Uh, so I'm kind of, I'm pumped to get back into it again. What I'm going to do for this series is a let's build an apartment series. Uh, really it's because of the new expansion pack that's been announced, uh, City Living. It's got me so excited for our Sims to be able to live in apartments and although I'm sure the apartments in that expansion pack will probably be a different Mm, how do I say this? I think they're going to be like run a little bit differently. I don't think we're going to be building our own apartments from the ground up necessarily, unless you choose to. They're going to be existing apartments in the game where you get a section of it. I, if it's anything like Sims 3, that's what I think it's going to be like. Uh, so I thought, you know what, why don't I build one in the Sims 4 to celebrate and... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm just pumped. So it's very exciting news for those of us who are obsessed with Sims, which is a lot of us. And I think it's going to be, well, I hope it's going to be an awesome expansion pack. Uh, so that is why I've decided to build an apartment block. I'm not sure how big we should make it at this stage. Maybe we'll make it three stories high. And I'm not sure how many of the apartments we'll finish, but we'll at least do the exterior and finish one apartment. And if you guys are still enjoying it, I will finish all the other ones. Otherwise, we'll just upload it as it kind of turns out with one apartment for your family to move into. Uh, I always like to see how much you are enjoying a series before I kind of uh, promise anything. Know what I mean? So I'm thinking we go with kind of, I mean, I could have done a traditional New York classic brownstone building. Uh, I did get to go to New York earlier this year. It was amazing. Uh, it was actually my dream to go to New York. Well, one of my, one of my many dreams. Uh, I can, I am a big dreamer and I cannot believe I actually got there and I have you guys to thank for that because it was actually my YouTube channel that allowed me to be invited to PAX East in Boston. And because Boston is obviously so close, uh, I decided, oh my gosh, I'm going to go to New York. <laughs> so I love those brownstone buildings, but I felt like for this build, I wanted to do something different. Uh, you guys know I love my modern boxiness, which I know not, it's not everyone's cup of tea <laughs> by any means but I, I just thought let's have a bit of fun and do something that I'll really really enjoy working on part by part with you guys uh, and just enjoy experimenting with as well so I think this will be I don't know I want it to be very irregular uh, I want this to be different so maybe we can have, I'm thinking maybe a half wall balustrade. We'll work from the front and then work our way back. I also have to get used to the fact that now I am doing this in real time with you guys because I haven't done this for so long. It's actually quite a different feeling recording it uh, when you're building and talking in real time. Although I have to say doing live streams has kept me pretty well practiced. Maybe we'll do a glass one coming out there. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then I kind of want to do a boxed one that protrudes out, maybe up here. So let's see if we can do one that really sticks out a lot. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll make it a little bit fun by having some openings just like that with a half wall. <clears throat> And we'll go like this. If you guys are wondering about my voice, I've said this a billion times already in a stack of videos I've pre-recorded for whilst I'm away again. I do have a cold at the moment and it does not sound very pretty. I'm so sorry. But 
Hopefully it'll go, it'll go away soon. Kick it in the butt. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we have a half wall for the roofing of this bad boy. We can go like that, like this. I was actually just watching my favorite TV show ever, Sex and the City. I must have watched it through like 50 times. I love that TV show so much. <clears throat> and I was just watching the episode where it's Carrie's 35th birthday dinner. And she wears this really, really cute skirt and crop top combo. And she's got such good abs. And I was like, how much did... Sarah Jessica Parker work out while she was filming Sex and the City. Like seriously, she was so buff and she plays this character who claims to never work out. I'm like, come on, <laughs> that's no fair. It's quite interesting though. Uh, this box should probably also have a half wall on top of it. I might go like, hmm, should give it a proper one, shouldn't we? There we go. Maybe we'll go with shorter ones over here because I want it to be very clearly sectioned off. Oh my god, how exciting was it when we actually got half walls in The Sims 4? Was that not the best day ever? Seriously, it made me so happy. It's hard to even imagine The Sims 4 with ha without half walls. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, all right. Starting to, we're starting to create a little bit of a shell now, I think. So it's gonna go like that. And then we'll, maybe this can be the stairwell down here and the stairs go up, 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 up in that slender kind of stairwell thing. So how many would we need? We need to have at least three across, I think, for it to be nice. Maybe we can go. Uh, that's probably a little bit long, isn't it, for a stairwell? Maybe we can get away with that. And we can build it. Ah, no! Like that. I think it should work okay. <clears throat> and then I was thinking we can make it all glass and all beautiful going up. Yes. Okay. I know it looks like nothing right now, but I am still excited for this. <laughs> uh, in terms of the new expansion pack coming out, I did want to talk about that to you guys a little bit because it is really exciting uh, to think about apartments in The Sims 4. I have the feeling, I don't know obviously, but I have the feeling, and I hope I'm not going to get my hopes up, but I think it's going to be really good. That's my sense. And I think the really good part about it is just going to not necessarily be all the little extras that the expansion pack brings, like festivals and Kaz items and stuff. I think it's more going to be just the lifestyles your Sims will be able to have in terms of just living that city life. And that is what I am so pumped for. And it's gonna be awesome. Hope it's gonna be awesome. Really do. Okay. It'd be nice to have another protruding boxy thing. And how far out can we push a box? I should go back in a little bit like that. Uh, and then we should do another half wall over here. There, I just can't wait for your sim to be able to go up in hopefully an elevator up to there penthouse or their little artsy artsy loft or go see their roommates and just be up in the sky oh there's a truck going past my house it's actually been a lot of rain today as well in Melbourne I cannot believe how gray and grizzly it is it's so gross uh it's been crazy cold and so many people are sick in Melbourne like my mum's sick, my mum has tonsillitis. I've never heard of my mum having tonsillitis. Uh, so the poor thing's tucked up in bed today. So I'm gonna go home on the weekend and see her. So that'll be good. And hopefully, hopefully she'll be feeling a little bit better with a bit of luck. Okay, maybe we'll just go 
with the mirroring. Oh, no, wait, that was going... Was this the stairwell? No, that's the stairwell. Oh, okay, I see. I think what we actually need to do is bring this under because it was looking a little bit small and these apartments may end up being a lot bigger than the other ones. And I might be able to make this into a bit of a balcony area too. <clears throat> and then we can extend this. No, that's weird. Let me bring that back. Extend it a little bit, but not too much. And maybe we can have another one underneath. Just like that to mirror the one above. I'll have that dropping down. Yeah, it's not too bad. Did we want to do something like this? A bit of an S. Nah, I don't want that. Just keeping it simple, I think, is best. Yeah, let's bring it back a notch and we'll put that on there. Cool. This is reminding me of apartments that currently they're building or developing a lot of apartments at the moment in Melbourne and this is a similar look and feel to a lot of them in a place called Brunswick. Brunswick is a really trendy uh, up and coming suburb where people used to live there because it was less expensive I think. It was more affordable. A lot of artists have lived there. It's got a lot of street vibe going on and it's in a way, it's really casual, but really cool. Um, and anyways, I was actually looking to move there because it's a lot more affordable than where I am. Uh, and it's also got good internet for YouTube, but the prices are going up like crazy right now. And I'm like, why? As soon as a place comes cool, becomes cool, it's like it just takes off. So that's a bit of a bummer. It's a cool place though. You guys should check it out if you're ever in Melbourne. The places to check out, <coughs> pardon me, if you do come to Melbourne, would be Brunswick, because it's snazzy. There's some cool bars in Richmond, Paran Chapel Street's awesome, Chinatown in Melbourne, and South Bank can be quite nice, and then the Mornington Peninsula and the Bellarine Peninsula, which is like an hour away from the city where there's beaches and stuff. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so that's kind of, it's looking interesting from that side. This side looks like a really depressing wall, doesn't it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some bits that protrude out and protrude inwards. Isn't protrude a, a weird word when you actually, it's one of those words when you think about saying it, you suddenly get really confused and you forget how to say it, like protrude, protrude. All right, there we go. Yes, honey. I'm feeling it now, this is fun. The Sim Supply recently did a massive apartment build and it was really good and I really enjoyed it. Uh, so I have to say he's definitely inspired me to do this build as well, which sucks because it's like, he's my friend. I don't want to feel, I don't want him to think, oh no, she's copying me kind of thing. But to be honest, I hope he finds it flattering that it inspired me to do something as well. At least mine's very different. If it was the same kind of build, then yeah, that would be pretty rude, I think. Would not be cool. Oh no! Okay. Maybe we should box this one in. Mm, have a little peekadoo hole. <laughs> peekadoo? What, darling? Peekaboo. There we are. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Could we maybe bring this one across? Does that make it a bit more interesting? This one across. Oh yes, I like it. Bring it across and outwards. Uh-oh, damn it, now that ruins this. But if we get rid of that, not bad. Can we bring it in? I think the trick with this build is to make it look really irregular and random so then it'll look 
uh, I was about to say dimensional, not dimensional. What's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, dynamic. What does that do if we bring this balcony around? Right in there. Mm -mm. Not happy, Jan. Not feeling it. I think if we're going to do anything, we're going to bring this block out. Bring that block out fully. Capish. That oh, looks better back, didn't it? All right. Uh, I'm thinking with this, it seems like it should come out maybe one more like that. Could do a nice rooftop terrace where we have some a bit of glass up here set back a little bit from the edge. Be a rooftop terrace that could be like a shared area for people who live here. You can all chill there. Maybe we can do another one here. I want also to have a bit of an industrial feel. So we'll also keep that industrial with stuff on the roof. And then on this side, what should we do here? Maybe we should actually continue bringing this boxed thing down. So we'll use this floor tool. Some of the tools in The Sims 4 compared to The Sims 3, like the building's really quite different and I find some of them really annoying still to use. Like I do wish I could still just place floor tiles instead of like individually, instead of placing these flooring areas. I get why they did it though. And I suppose it is helpful, but at the same time, I'm just like, I just want to place tiles. <laughs> I've never gotten used to it. Oh, balls, there we go. Get rid of that and then we can, I kind of like the idea of it hanging on the side. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yes, we'll bring it out there a little bit. Well, I've got to say being able to drag and drop walls like this has become really handy. Cause it's like playing with clay, you know what I mean? Do we wanna keep that in line? Uh huh. Then maybe we can just do a small half wall lower down to kind of connect it all up along here. See what that looks like. It uh, looks like that wall needs to be slightly bigger actually. I think once we color block it, it's going to look okay. At the moment it's a bit hard to understand it all. And that's probably going to have to look a little bit different. We'll pull it back. Okay, and then we'll create some inset windows again. And then protrude, protrude some out. Oh no! Okay. Excited. Uh, tomorrow night is Friday when I'm recording this and I'm going to be seeing some of my girlfriends who I haven't seen for so long uh, and we're going out for Indian and I love Indian food. And you know what the crazy thing was? When I went to Germany, I know it sounds pretty stupid, but I kind of realized, I don't know if it was just because I was in Cologne, but it occurred to me, oh my gosh, it's actually not that easy to find good Indian food here, or at least in this town from what I know. Cause in Australia, like you feel like Chinese food, you feel like Japanese food, you feel like Indian, you feel like Thai, you feel like anything. You can look in your street directory and you'll be able to find it like at least 15 minutes away from you if you're not in a rural area. When I was in Germany, I had one Indian dish and it wasn't Indian, like it did not taste like Indian food at all. And I was like, oh my gosh, maybe they don't really have much Indian food here. <laughs> so if you're watching and you're from Germany, do you have Indian foods like around the place? And if not, oh my gosh, come to Australia or even better, go to India and try it because it's the best thing ever. Like Papa Dums and a good... Uh, a good dal that's full of lentils. Oh my, mm mm mm, delicious, 
see what I did there? Bellissima in Italian, but because it's Indian, it's totally delissima. Okay, there we go. So I think we've pretty much got the outer shell of this place. Yes, I think what we'll do is we'll move it across a little bit though. Make it look a little bit better. I think I just got a message from someone. Uh, does that look roughly centered? I think we need, no. We need to push it back too. Now I feel like it's gonna be way too far on the other side. I don't actually mind having more room on this side though, I think. if Because we don't need to make it symmetrical because we're still going to make like an outdoor bin area. And some area we can sit down. Beautiful. All right, well that's the outer shell. I think I'll leave this first part here. And then on the next part, we'll be working on the wallpaper and putting windows and doors. So let me know what you thought of this. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.